Hey everybody, so today I am going to be showing you guys how to do this makeup look. It's like a summer into fall kind of smoky look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And that is Allie and my sister over there, oh, just so you guys know. And I'm in my cousin's room because I've been at their house for a week. So that is why I haven't been like filming my regular background, just so you know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. So the first thing I'm doing is applying my... Maybelline Instant Age Room Primer and I just use this because it's a really really good primer and it keeps my makeup on longer. It's not matte or anything but I do like it to help keep my makeup on. So I put this all over my face and most of the stuff I use in this video is the stuff that I have been using in my everyday makeup. So yeah I just thought I would point that out for you guys. And then the next thing I'm doing is applying my Clinique Super Balanced Foundation, which this is just a little sample of it. Um, I'm almost out of it, and then I'll probably try another foundation, but I'm in the color Alabaster, and I highly recommend that foundation. It's really good. It's not too matte, but it's also not really oily, so I really like it, and it has pretty good coverage, so that's great. And then to blend it, I'm using my Revive Blending Sponge I got from TJ Maxx. I like this one just as much as the Real Techniques one, but it's cheaper, and I've already repurchased another one, but I'm not using it until school starts because I don't want to get it all dirty and nasty before school starts. And also, I also know that my skin is breaking out a lot. I don't know why. I wish I knew. Um, so, like, on the sides of my head, it breaks out, and on my forehead, which is probably because I'm most oily there, but I wash my face every day, so... So I just thought I would point that out to you guys. And there's Allie in the background. You guys, that's my little cousin. And I know I ramble a lot. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but I didn't speed this clip up. So I kind of have to talk so that it doesn't look stupid with me just blending my face. That's a cute face. Screenshot that face right there. Do it. Screenshot it. Send me the picture. Post it on Instagram. Screenshot that girl. Okay. Don't know. I do all these weird little faces like with my hand under my chin throughout the whole video. Don't know why, why but it's all good. So now I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. One's in the shade light. One's in the shade fair. The one that's almost gone is in the shade fair. I ended up using that one because I didn't want to open my other one yet. So um, yeah, but the light one is a little bit darker than this one that I'm using. But this is my favorite concealer. I ever purchased it like a lot of times, a lot, a lot of times. So I put that under my eyes and on my nose and then like on my acne spots that need concealed more. Um, I don't wear makeup on a daily basis, so I know that's not the reason I'm breaking out. I don't know what it is, but hopefully I figure it out soon. And again, I'm using my Revive Beauty Sponge to blend this out. And I just blend and blend and blend and blend some more keep blending blend blending takes forever i swear i'm sorry i'm so weird so after i get done blending out my concealer i will set my whole face with powder i'm using the wet n wild coverall powder which is almost gone and i need more um and i was gonna use that brush but then i figured i would use my smaller tapered brush to blend it out so I'm just using that and setting under my eyes sometimes I'll bake depends on my mood but um, this is a highlight brush it's from Luxie or something and it's like a 522 brush I'll leave the name of it down below it, got, it came from Ipsy bag and then this brush that I'm using is a city color powder brush and I love city color brushes they are great and you can get them in like a huge set so I'm just applying the rest of the powder all over my face because, again, I have oily skin and I powder my whole face. That's just what I have always done. And then I'm going to apply my blush if I can find it, apparently. I couldn't find it. Okay. Okay. Find it. Oh, I was also yelling at my sister because I thought she lost my blush during this clip. But it's the Wet n Wild Blush in Mellow Wine and it's like a really it's like an orangey red pink color my brush was white before i started using this blush by the way but i've always used this blush i probably should switch it up but i just really like it and the formula and it lasts a long time so that is why i love it and it's cheap and then i'm using my powder brush to blend that out because i don't want to look like a clown 
who wants to look like a clown? I mean, really? But, I mean, hey, if you want to look like a clown, you do you, boo-boo. But I'm just blending that out and then flipping my ponytail all around like a weirdo. And then I'm using my Wet n Wild highlighter, which is in Rose Champagne Glow, but my camera wouldn't focus. I like Wet n Wild, if you guys can't tell. I also talk very fast. And I'm using my Eco Tools fan brush for this. For some swatching it, apparently. Twice. And then I'm using my Eco Tools fan brush. There we go. And I love this fan brush. It's not too big, and it's really it's great. I love it. And I also love this highlighter. I've had it forever, and it's lasted me forever. I've had it for like a year, I think. And it's baked. I think it's like a baked highlighter, so usually with baked products, you get like more product in the pan, so. Yeah. My eyes look really green. Anyways, so next I'm going to be using my Essence Sun Club Bronzer. I don't think they make this anymore. And it's my favorite. I love it. And it smells like cinnamon and sugar, guys. I'm not even kidding you. I will leave a link to it down below if I can find it. But I don't think they make it anymore. So, yeah, it makes me really upset that they don't make it anymore. And then I'm blending and blending some more. I, As you guys can tell, I like the words blending a lot. Because I say it. I've said it throughout this whole video. And then I am blending more with another brush. How many brushes am I going to use to blend? I don't understand. Hello. That was Allie. And I'm doing a voiceover and she just interrupted me. And now I'm going to prime my eyes with my Lorac eyeshadow primer. And this came with my palette, so I've been using it, and it's great. I love it. And it's like it's like a full-size tube of it. And I'm using my Lorac Pro Palette, obviously, because it's amazing. And I love this better than my Naked Palette. Sorry, Urban Decay. I just do. It has more colors, more choices. Great formula. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, I'm very bad at voiceovers. I'm using the color Blanc, or Blank, or however you say it. I just burped again, excuse me. And I'm putting that as a base all over my eyelid. So, yes. And then, okay, and now I'm taking my City Color Blending Brush and the color Cool Taupe. And blending that into my crease and outer V area just to have like a transition shade but also add some definition in there. So I do this to both of my eyes obviously because I'm not just going to do it to one eye. That would look dumb. But that is what I'm doing and this blending brush I'm using is my favorite. It's tapered at the end and I love it. By far my favorite brushes are from City Color. And then I am going to be taking my Vasanti brush, which I don't know if this was in an Ipsy bag. It's not really a blending brush, but it works, and I just wanted to blend that color out a little bit more with a clean brush. And then I'm using my finger and taking the color Medallion, and it's like a gold, kind of a dark gold color, and I'm putting that all over my lid. And this color is not the best quality in this palette, but it's still really pretty. It's kind of chalky, though. Um, but I just took my finger and did that all over my lid. And then, sorry, it's blowing eyeshadow off of my palette because I'm reading the colors off. I'm taking the color Amethyst and I'm putting that into the outer half of my eye. And as you guys can tell, I like purple, like dark purple colors. Um, so I'm taking that color. That's also my birthstone. So that's great. Fun fact about me. But I'm using that same blending brush and just putting it on the outer half of my eyeballs. My eyelids, not my eyeballs. You can't put eyeshadow in your eyeballs. And I'm blending that and blending it some more and keep blending and keep blending and keep blending. And it's a really smoky look, so that's kind of what I was going for. I don't wear this much makeup on a daily basis, but I thought this would be cute for you guys to do it. And then I'm taking my Vasanti brush and kind of cleaning that up because it is an angled brush. So, and I got eyeshadow on my forehead. Don't know how. It was like black or some weird color. Don't know what color, but tried to blend it off with a brush. Didn't work. So then I had to stop the camera and wipe it off. 
So then I'm taking this flat shader brush and kind of just dragging a little bit of these darker colors in a little bit to blend everything out. And then I'm taking my palette again, I believe. Who knows what I'm looking for? Now I'm taking my blending brush, wiping it off. Okay, I don't even remember what I was doing. I just did this. I'm taking the color Blanc or Blank or whatever the heck it is again and blending everything out a little bit more with that color and this blending brush. That's my favorite, and I've said that five times, but it's true. It's just true. Okay, and I'm going to fight you, my little cousin. I swear, she's in the background of this, if you guys can hear her. I'm taking Blanc and, what's this color? It, it Gold, and putting that on the inner half of my eye to brighten everything up. And then, after that, I'm going to take another brush, the blending brush, and blend it a little bit, to, so there's no harsh lines. And keep blending, and blending some more. And I'm blending some more. Go figure. Okay. So there's that and I'm blending some more. I'm blending and blending and blending and blending. And then I'm going to be using my Great Lash Lots of Lashes mascara and my uh, eyelash curler brain fart. Um, I got from Dollar Tree. And if you hear background noise, my little cousin Sammy is on her iPad watching a movie. So that is what it is. And But I'm using my mascara and I love this mascara. It is my favorite. I said in my everyday makeup routine. And so, I also love the curved one on it and stuff. And it makes my eyelashes long and, yeah, it actually holds curl. And then, so those are the eyes that are finished. And then I'm going to be using my LA Colors Liquid uh, Matte Lip Gloss li Lipstick Stuff. This stuff is great. It's only a dollar and it does not budge. Like, it'll stay on your lips forever. It does not come off. Worth crap. Um... So, yeah, and this is in the color XOXO, I think, I believe. I'll leave it down below because I don't have it right beside me right now. And it's just like a mauve pink color. It darkens as it dries, but I love it, and it is my favorite out of all four of the liquid lipsticks that they have. So, yes. So then I'm going to be taking my palette and using medallion again and I'm going to put that on the center of the my top and bottom lip just to kind of like give it a little bit of sheen because I just thought that would look really pretty and I wanted to try something different so I did that because I wanted to what other reason do I need and that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys want more videos like makeup tutorials let me know